EDUCAS WJEC specification requires candidates to apply Finnis's development of natural law to the ethical issue of capital punishment. The difficulty with the practical application of ethical theories is that it is rarely straightforward. Any simplistic explanation is likely to be limited. There are a great many issues to be taken into consideration, such as the goods or rights of the criminal, their victims and families, the intentions and jurisdiction of the authorities and the risk of mistake or abuse. Capital punishment is the deliberate taking of life by the state in response to a person's criminal activity. Any kind of punishment has several possible aims and capital punishment is no different. Punishment can be for the purpose of vindication or restoring an injustice that has been committed. It can be to deter people from committing a crime through fear of punishment or a sense of duty to obey a law. It can be to reform or rehabilitate a criminal by requiring them to change their ways through the administration of the punishment. And it can be to defend the common good of society against crime. In most societies that still uphold a system of capital punishment, this is reserved for the very gravest crimes, such as murder, treason or other crimes against humanity. The requirement of practical reason is the requirement of favouring and fostering the common good of one's communities. The common good is the ability for all within the community to participate in any or all of the goods. This requires a great deal of coordination by an authority who must manage the individual life plans of everyone, preventing conflict and allowing people the freedom to pursue their life plans. It makes sense that when a recalcitrant member of society fails to adhere to the laws that coordinate the whole, there needs to be a system to restore the common good. Traditionally, the Roman Catholic Church, in its observance of natural law, has followed Thomist thinking and has seen capital punishment as licit or allowed. Only a lawful God-given authority may administer the death penalty as guardian of the common good. A private person may never take the life of an individual for any reason. Aquinas appeals to scripture to justify this idea. Matthew 5, 29 to 30 says that if a part of the body endangers the whole, then it should be removed. Thus, if a hand causes the body to sin, it should be cut off. So if an individual endangers the common good, they should be destroyed because of the damage that they can do to the whole. Finnis finds this idea to be frightening, since there would be nothing in this reasoning to prevent an innocent person being killed to save the state, in much the same way that one might cut off a healthy hand to save oneself from fire or water. E. C. Brugger, a student of Finnis and a prominent natural law writer, points out that the common good cannot be compared to the body, as Aquinas has suggested. Members of a community are all distinct lives in their own right, whereas hands or eyes are not. The hand or eyes may serve the whole body, but the community is set up to serve the individuals within it. For the political community, the unity between individuals and the community is about order, not composition. <laughs> 